What I am doing is getting this cordless engine cylinder in condition so that we can use it as a demonstration to demonstrate the action of the cordless valve gear. The cordless valve gear, invented in about 1849, was a significant breakthrough in steam engine design. Instead of moving the valves uh, back and forth, uh, with every turn of the crank. This elaborate mechanism here allowed the valves to trip in the middle of the stroke, which, and they, when they tripped, they tripped very rapidly, and so they did not use, it used much less steam, and because the valves could trip at the, in the middle of the stroke, they could maintain a much uh, more uniform speed. The engine very quickly dominated uh, all the textile mills which needed continuous power. That is power running you know, all the time during the day and they dominated that production. They were used in the early electric power plants and the essence of it is this mechanism here where this cam would be operated by a rod from the governor, and as the governor uh, required less speed, it would trip this cam earlier in the uh, cycle, and if it required more speed, it would trip the cam later in the stroke. I'm working on this uh, set of valves, which is the the exhaust valves on a cordless engine, the intake valves are on top, the exhaust valves are on the bottom, and I'm, all I'm doing is cleaning out the threads so I can get these parts to seat tightly. Right now, they move a little bit, and I'm trying to get everything so that it seats, because until it's, everything is rigid, I can't get the valve gear to work properly. We have the rounded heads on these bolts, and the nuts would have been the nuts over here are the same way. And the modern bolts have flat heads instead. And so we will make, we'll use nuts instead of making all new bolts. And when we make the nuts, like this nut here, what we will do is we will next get some hexagonal stock and we will drill and tap the stock for the proper threads. And then we will use the Stark lathe, which is on the other side of the shop, and it's mostly a display, and it has the proper attachment on it for cutting a sphere, and we will use it to cut the spherical surface on the top, and then hopefully we can get these things plated.